Good morning. I am enjoying a cup of coffee right now. It is bright and early in the morning. I woke up. I just had ants in my pants about decluttering. <laughs> I just need to do it. I have been kind of putting it off because I wanted to film it. So here we are, here we are. Let me just show you the state of affairs because it is disastrous in here. So if you guys are new to my channel, I film in this walk-in closet here and I like to keep all my makeup in here. It's just easier for me to get to while I'm filming if I need something. So I originally had this Alex drawer unit, this Alex drawer unit, and then one of these, this one right here, um, Alex nine drawer units. I just got these two so that I could better organize my makeup. I was really resisting this, but I just had to get truthful with myself. Um, and so I got those two, but before I organize, I really need to declutter. I just have makeup everywhere. And, you know, it's gotten to the point where it's beyond just, oh, I just have a lot of makeup. Like I can't find anything. I don't know what I have anymore. It's just really not a good situation. And I'm not the most organized person in the entire world, but this is like beyond. <laughs> this is beyond anything I can handle. So I'm just gonna start because usually I like to go through categories or whatever, but everything is everywhere right now. You know, I've just been kind of like filming up a storm. So we're just gonna start with the top here. And that's just a hodgepodge of things. We're just gonna go through stuff. So I'm really, really hoping that this declutter is going to be very brutal for a couple of reasons. One, like I just showed you, I just have too much makeup, but mostly I was watching, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Tati's video where she talks about how she had to get rid of so much of her makeup because she got that crazy eye infection. And it's just true. It's just true. We just keep our makeup for way too long because we don't want to like, you know, waste our money. We don't want to throw out things. We don't want to be wasteful, which obviously none of us want to be, but I would rather throw out bad makeup than get a major eye infection. So I'm really gonna try and be truthful with myself about like how old things are, what I'm actually gonna be using because it is really kind of gross to be putting like old stuff all over your face. So with that said, I think most of the things that I'm gonna be decluttering are gonna be old. So I may offer it to friends and family, letting them know that this is old and you know, I'll probably spray some of uh, like an alcohol uh, solution on there or whatever to kind of disinfect it. but. Other than that, I think I'm gonna just be throwing it away. I'm definitely not gonna be giving it to you guys. Please don't ask in the comments. I am not gonna be sending um, any of you old makeup. And I'm absolutely not gonna be selling old makeup. I just think that's really, really gross. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna start with these bronzers over here. All right, so here are my bronzers. And we're gonna be quick about this because I do wanna get through my entire collection. I don't wanna break this up, so all right. Let's do this. Um, I've got two Tom Ford bronzers here. This is probably one of my favorite bronzers, but I really only use the shade Terra. The gold dust I find to be just a little bit too warm, so I'm gonna declutter that. The Clay de Peau bronzer is old. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, the Kevin Aquan, this is the contour powder in light, right? Yeah, the sculpting powder in light. This. I don't think it's super old, and I do like this powder, so I'm gonna hold on to that. The Kogendo is very old, is very old, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, M Cosmetics, this is on the newer side. Yeah, and I haven't gotten a chance to use that too much, so I'm gonna hold on to that. The Vapor is also on the newer side, so I'm gonna hold on to that, I really like that one. Um, this Dior Contour Powder, limited edition. I really enjoy this, but I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have a bunch of these Guerlain bronzers. Let's see. This one. So this is the newest one. It's very similar to this one, which I really love, uh, but this one's older, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And this one was uh, just okay. So I'm gonna get rid of this as well and just hold on to the newer one. The Shantakai Real Bronze uh, Goa Bronzer is the only one I really use, so I'm gonna hold on to that and uh, get rid of Serena. It's kind of like the Tom Ford bronzers. The lighter one is a little bit too warm, so I actually like the deeper shade, which is a little bit more neutral. Uh, the Sisley Powder Number Four Bronze, I'm gonna hold on to this, I really like that. This Clinique, I really love, this is kind of 
This is getting old too, right? I've had this for a while. Yeah, I've had this for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I love these Kosas bronzers, but they're definitely getting on in their years. I got this right when it launched. I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, that's broken. Okay, you know what? I'll take that as a sign. <laughs> Just uh, pass these on. The Gucci bronzer. This is in shade number two. I do really like this. Gosh, it looks so deep. I really feel like I've gotten paler and paler the older I've gotten. Maybe this is too deep for me now. I may hold on to this. I'll hold on to that. The Charlotte Tilbury are fairly new and I have been using the light shade more, again, because I've gotten <laughs> so pale, but I'm gonna hold on to both of these. Both of those shades look pretty good. The Valentino, I do like the Valentino powders and these are on the newer side. So I'll hold on to that. The Le Bouche Rouge, I'll hold on to the Christian Dior. You know, I never think to use this. I'm gonna pass that along. This Sisley bronzer, as much as it pains me, I think I need to pass this along. I love it so, so much, but this is old. This is this is many, many, many years old, so I'm gonna pass that on. The Westman Atelier Butter Bronzer, this is actually fairly new. Um, I had an older version that I've gotten rid of, but this one I've just recently got, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And then, oh, the Chanel, this is also fairly new, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And then I have a bunch of these Bobbi Brown bronzers. So Natural is one that I love that is fairly new, newish. This one is Golden Light. This one is also fairly new. Here is Stone Street, which I really enjoy, but this is an old powder. This is like limited edition packaging from I don't even know when. So I think I'm gonna pass that along. You guys know how much I love this bronzer, but I think it's time for it to go. Here's Aruba, which is like um, a bronzer with some sheen to it. That is fairly new. And then I have Antigua, which is not new, but it's not super old. So I'm gonna hold on to that as well. So keeping four, and getting rid of my my beloved Stone Street. I think I'll have to get another one of these. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is newer. I actually haven't used this that much because I got rid of my older one and kept the newer one in this limited edition holiday packaging. I think it's maybe two years old. So it's almost time for this one to go, but I'm gonna hold on to it. And then I have two of the Victoria Beckham bronzers. I think I have 01 and 02. Yeah, these aren't super old either, so I'm gonna hold on to both of these. All right, well, wow, that looks completely different. And then a lot of the other makeup sitting on top of here is fairly new, which is why it's sitting on top of here. So I'm actually gonna move down into this Alex drawer and just get rid of some older makeup that I have down in here. Okay, this is gonna be incredibly painful. So I've been keeping a drawer. It's not everything because I still have a bunch of limited edition products kind of uh, spread out in my collection, but I put a lot of, or I try to kind of put a lot of my limited edition products in here, but it's just stupid. I come into this drawer every once in a while when I talk about things or occasionally like compare things or whatever. Um, and I will keep some of these things that I just really, really adore, but they're discontinued and I just really need to get rid of them. Uh, like the Chantecaille de Gournay, I am gonna be keeping because I love the packaging. Um, it just, it makes me very happy. But something like this La Mer powder, which I really enjoyed. What am I doing with this? It's so old, it's discontinued. I, I just, no, I'm gonna get rid of it. The Anastasia Amrezi, this I'm gonna hold on to. I just feel like this is such a beautiful product um, that I'll probably use myself. Like the Rodin, I just love this packaging, which is why I kept it. And I love like the imprint on the uh, pan, but it's just silly, it's silly. I'm gonna pass this along. These Gucci products, their previous line, I mean, I love these blushes, but like I don't have enough blush, so I'm gonna pass that along. Um, I have all of these Guerlain, like special edition products that they come out for the holidays. I never reference these, I never talk about these again. This was for summer. Here's another one for summer. I was kind of starting to collect all of these like wooden uh, compacts, here's another one, but for what? To what end? It's yeah, it's just taking up space and I never ever look back at these. So it's time to pass all these along. Same with these, the ones that look like <laughs> shoe polish. Yeah, I just, there's no point in keeping them. 
Ugh, these Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder products. They're so, so old. I got these before I moved to Vegas, so I have to let these go. I'm just, I'm never going to use them. And again, just nothing I ever kind of even reference. So I had those two bronzers. I have ugh, the Modern Mercury Highlighter. <sighs> That's really beautiful. Maybe hold on to that one. <laughs> um, I have these Tom Ford Limited Edition Highlights. Yeah, these are long gone, and I don't use them, so I'm going to get rid of these. Another Gucci product. Oh, this was such a great highlight. Such a great highlight. But see, I completely forgot about it. So away it goes. I'm going to get rid of this Chantecaille Duo. This is actually the Serena bronzer and I have a gazillion highlights. So I'm going to get rid of that. Here is an Armani Lunar New Year highlight. This is actually a terrible product. <laughs> I thought it was really awful. It's not a very good highlight at all, but it has an imprint of a pug. And before butters, I used to have a pug, but it's silly. I never think of it. I never use it. What is this? The Chanel. Oh, this actually is not that old, right? Maybe it's a couple years old. Whatever. I'm passing it on. What is this? This is the, oh, the bronzer. This is from, I think the, does it say on the back? Bronze Color Games. Yeah, this was a limited edition collection. I'm going to pass this along. Oh, I really liked this too. These were some baked products from Chanel. Highlight Bronzer Duo. Get rid of that. Um, this is, I think actually this is still around, so maybe this isn't that old, but this is a By Terry highlighter. But this packaging is from their last holiday or the holiday before. Anyway, I, yeah, I'm getting rid of that. This is like a thousand years old, but I've held on to it because it just reminds me of a time that I was getting back into makeup when I started blogging, when I started my YouTube channel. This is the MAC collaboration with Charlotte Olympia. I actually haven't even seen her around, but she was, I think, a London-based fashion designer, and she... Oh, is she still around? Anyway, this is just like a loose eyeshadow, like, pigment. Do I use it? No, but I really love this little jar. This is more like memorabilia, so I'm going to hold on to that. These are Chantecaille Compact Soleil Powders. They discontinued these, and I love, love, love these powders. They're just like a really light, just like really, really light bronzers with a really beautiful, like, undertone but they're gone. So I'm going to get rid of these. What is this? Oh, this is a baked gelée healthy glow powder from Givenchy. This was limited edition. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, oh, this was a wonderful highlight from Bobbi Brown. Also limited edition. This was the golden hour Lux illuminating powder. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. This, I have no idea why NARS didn't just make this part of the regular line. This is Gorgeous. Do you guys remember this? The Bonk de Sable? So beautiful. But what is the point? I don't use it. It's not around. I'm going to get rid of it. And then I held on to this hourglass because these were their metallic strobing. Am I remember that correctly? Ambient metallic strobe lighting palette. They have since come out with this as part of their line. So I'm going to get rid of this. Let's see. More Chantecaille. This is their Moonlit Pearl Glow Powder. Oh, for their 20 anniversary, 20 year anniversary. This is a beautiful powder. Super, super creamy. Oh, this packaging is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna, I may hold on to this. I've gotten rid of a lot, a lot from this drawer. So I'm gonna hold on to this. It's all about balance, right? Sure. These were limited edition as well. I am going to get rid of these. Yeah. I'm being brutal, you guys. I'm being brutal. All of this really hurts me though. So all I'm keeping from that drawer of all of that limited edition stuff are these five things. That's it. Okay, moving on. Um, the next drawer is actually a drawer of like PR. Some of them are uh, products that I have like doubles of or whatever. So I'm just holding on to this stuff. This is like work stuff. And then I have a drawer full of primers. All right. A lot of this actually is not very old. Like this, I haven't even gotten a chance to use yet. The uh, Cure Weiss. That's a shame. But I know a lot of these I'm not going to use. The Cali Ray So Blown. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to pass this along. The Gucci spray is relatively new. Why is this in here? This is not a primer. This is fairly new. SPF, that's fairly new. What is this? Ah, the double tensor. 
that I'll hold on to. It's obviously pretty new. This was a gift, relatively new. The new Chantecaille tints, those are pretty new. I'm gonna hold on to that. The La Mer Hydrating Illuminator, this is old. I'm getting rid of that. This Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury is old. This NARS Tinted Glow Booster. I actually really like this. I don't think I've ever seen anyone like continuously talk about this, but I really, really like this, but it's very old at this point. Oh, I have another double tensor. This has got to be old, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is not that old. Steve has been sending me these, bless his heart. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This is pretty old and it's SPF, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This powder from Sicily, this is such a cool powder, but this is fairly old, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, this is relatively new. Okay. Oh, my Auric, that's like relatively new. My Victoria Beckham Gold, and I'm almost done with this, so hopefully I'll be able to just use that up soon. Okay, that's my primer drawer. And then I have some of my foundations here and then back in my drawer, which you can't actually see are my concealers. So let's start with this stuff up here. This is, if you can believe it, discontinued. So I'm gonna get rid of that, even though I love that. This Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Tinted Moisturizer, lovely, but I never reach for it. Westman Atelier I love. Tower 28 I love, Cure Weiss is great, this is great, relatively new. All of these are relatively new. Hourglass, Ambient, The Clinique. I feel like this is old, but this is one of the few like high coverage foundations I actually like, but it's old. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is relatively new, relatively new. This is actually relatively old. I've had this for a while, so. I'm gonna pass that along, relatively new. This is relatively new. This, relatively new. Okay, we're gonna hold on to the rest of this stuff. I'm actually surprised at how new most of this stuff is. Let's pull out my concealers here. Yeah, these are all relatively new too. I guess I have to start thinking about ones that I'm actually going to use. Yeah, that I'm gonna use. This I'm gonna use, I really love. Tushy Clot High Cover. I don't really reach for that, so I'm gonna get rid of that. The Tushy Clot Radiant Touch. This is the lighter one, which I actually prefer, so I'll hold on to that. The Guerlain Rejuvenating Illuminator. Yeah, that's relatively new. This Clay de Po Corrector for Eyes, I've had for a long time, so I'm gonna get rid of this. The Clinique I've had for a long time, I'm gonna get rid of. The By Terry, that's relatively new. This Kosas I really like, but it's super pale. I need to get a different shade, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Bobbi Brown Skin Correctors, these are all, so I'm gonna hold on to those. These Surat palettes, I love, but these are old, so I have to I have to get rid of these, yeah. Oh my gosh, these are the ones with the two shades and then the powder. This powder is so incredible. I'm gonna have to get these again, but these are old. Oh, I have two Say. Let's see if I need both. Oh, they're so close. One's cooler, one's warm. Okay, I'll hold on to both. The Bobbi Brown Corrector, this is relatively new from them. The McCrean Actives. That I really love. Another new one from Bobbi Brown. Uh, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I just don't use this that often. I'm gonna pass that along. My Chanel Corrector I really love. Sicily is great. Armani is great. Okay, so let me rearrange this. I'm not doing too much organizing now. We're just decluttering. So we'll get to the organization another time. Okay, this drawer I have cushion foundations and then cream and like powder foundations in the back. I think what I will do, so a lot of these are old, but they're refillable. So do I just get rid of the insert? Possibly, and maybe just keep the unique ones, like one of the white and then keep like the gold and the brown. Yeah, these are old, so maybe that's what I'll do. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, I'll just keep the cases if ever I want to get another one, but I'm gonna throw away the actual cushion foundation. Here are refills. This is relatively new. This is relatively new. This is relatively new. This is limited edition primer. Look how cool that is. This actually I'm gonna put in my limited edition drawer here. And then, oh, this Burberry, God, I forgot about this Burberry cushion. Wow, I think this is okay. The Clay de Poe, is this the cream? Yeah, this is that cream foundation in here. 
And surprisingly, I really liked this foundation. I really didn't think I was going to. Well, I just went through my foundation drawer and I apologize, I was not recording. Um, but I'm just gonna go through all of the foundations that I'm decluttering and then I'll go through all the ones that I'm keeping. So the La Mer foundation, it's just too old. I've had this forever, so I'm gonna pass. I'm not gonna pass it along. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is Lee Fito 10 Nude. I really like this foundation, but the 2C Soft Beige is too deep for my skin tone. So going to get rid of that. The MZ Skin Tint and Protect. I really enjoy this. I just never reach for it. So I'm just going to get rid of it. The Akir Weiss. I forget what this is called. I think is this just the foundation. This is the one with the dropper. I love her beautiful tint foundation so much that I've completely forgotten about this. So I'm going to get rid of this. This uh, Light Wonder from Charlotte Tilbury is just old. So I'm going to get rid of that. This McCrean Actives uh, Tinted Moisturizer, I really love, but this shade medium is too deep for me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, Bobbi Brown Serum Foundation, it's lovely. I never reach for it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. The Valentino is okay. Um, I don't think I was especially like in love with this particular foundation, uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this. And then the Vapor, I'm actually keeping one, and I'm just getting rid of this shade, 117L. It's a little bit too, like, uh, warm for me, the skin tone. And then this Exa foundation, this shade is a little bit too deep for me, so I'm gonna get rid of this. And then the Guerlain L'Essentiel, I really love this foundation, but it's old. It's really old, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And these are all the ones that I am keeping. They're all relatively new or ones that I love. So the Givenchy Prism Libre. Skin Caring Glow Foundation, I really enjoy. I'm gonna keep that. I have a bunch of these Clay de Peau newer foundations. So I'm keeping two shades of the natural foundation because it's like the tones are interesting. So I have O20 and O30. O20 like should work for me because it's lighter, but the O30, I just like the undertone a little bit more and I feel like that works a little bit better. So I wanna keep playing around with these. Um, so I'm keeping both of those. And then uh, for the matte foundation, I use O10. So <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to that. And then my Kogendo Moisture Foundation, you guys hear me talk about that all the time. My Vapor Stick Foundation, um, my NARS Tinted SPFs. I love these. I have Gotland and Norwich. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Um, I have the Suku Liquid Foundation, which is relatively new to my collection. I have the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick in Atelier 0.5, which is a good match for me. So I'm gonna hold on to that. The Forever Natural Nude. Dior Foundation, I'm gonna hold on to this. And Ultra Eclat from Sisley, I'm gonna hold on to this. And then all of my Chanel foundations, basically. The Vital Lumiere, which is okay. It's not my favorite. Uh, same with the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. These are the newer ones. I have B10 and B20, so I'm gonna hold on to these because they are new. Uh, this is one of my favorite foundations, the Chanel Number no. 1 I'm gonna hold on to. I'm almost done with my uh, water fresh tint, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And then the Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation Hydration and Longwear, I'm gonna hold on to. My Surat Dewdrop Foundation, which I love. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, which is lovely. I'm gonna hold on to that. And the YSL New uh, Foundation. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I really enjoy it and I'm so excited by how much I got rid of. It was like half of my foundations in here, in this drawer. Okay, powders. I really love loose powders, so I, I really don't know how much I'm gonna get rid of because I love these powders so much. I do see some powders that I love that have been discontinued that I just need to let go of. It is these Lancome Absolute powders. Why did they discontinue these? I don't understand. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of these. So I had the Absolute Almond, the Absolute Golden, Absolute Pesh, and Absolute Pearl. So I'm gonna get rid of those four. Breaks my heart, but c'est la vie. So my Guerlain Meteorites. Most of these are limited edition, <laughs> can't get, but I just love them so much. I'm not ready to let these go. I'm just not ready to let these go. I have so many of them too, as you can see, but I'm gonna hold on to these. Yeah, I have more back here. I have this orb one that I really, really love. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to all of those. Laura Mercier, these are the Translucent Loose Setting Powder Light Catcher. So I really love these. This one is Celestial Light, and then I have Honey Star, and then I have Cosmic Rose. 
So these are face powders. These are like loose highlighters. So I love them. I'm gonna hold on to them. Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder in glow. I forgot I had this. Yeah, this one has a little bit of a sheen to it. So, ooh, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I love the Say powder. I'm gonna hold on to that. The Sisley powder. Is this old? Yeah, this is so old. I am going to get rid of that. This Kit Cosmetics I've also had forever. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, the La Mer is relatively new to my collection, so I'm gonna keep that. This Kogan Doe powder, this is their uh, Sheer Loosen powder. This is a gorgeous powder, but I just used, as you guys know, I just used their natural lighting powder, so I never reach for this, so I'm gonna pass that along. Wayne Goss's Weightless powder, this is new, so I'm gonna hold on to that. This Dior powder is, I think is discontinued, this loose powder. In any case, it's very drying on my skin, so I'm gonna pass that along. This Suku loose powder, it's their Oil Rich Glow loose powder. I want to hold on to this. I got this when I got the cream foundation and I haven't really gotten a chance to play with this as much as I'd like, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Um, the Shiseido Future Solution LX, I like this too. I haven't gotten a chance to use that, I'm gonna hold on to it. This Clay de Peau powder is so old. This is one of the first loose powders I ever got, so I'm gonna pass that along. This Orsay powder, I never, I never reach for, so I'm gonna pass that along. This Tatcha powder, I really, really, I really enjoy actually, but I'm gonna pass it along too, I never use it. This Guerlain powder, this is a great travel powder. It's a terracotta powder, so it has a, like a little bit of a peachy bronzy tint to it, but I have had this for quite some time. Oh, that pains me. Yeah, I'm gonna pass that on. Um, the Givenchy Prism Libre powders, I love these. These are not exceptionally old, so I'm gonna hold on to those. Okay. The NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I'm going to get rid of this. I never use this. The Chanel Loose Powder. This is the old formula because they changed this formula like, what, a couple years ago? So I'm gonna, gonna get rid of that. Oh, the Ilia. This is really nice. I really like this powder. I don't think this is super old. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I am also gonna hold on to this Candlelight Powder from Chantecaille. This is relatively new. And then this Guerlain powder, I don't even know if they make this anymore, but this is the one that smells like violet. So I have to hold on to this. I'm obsessed with this Guerlain violet scent. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And that's it, I have more meteorites back here. I'm gonna hold on to those. All right, so those are my loose powders. I actually did better than I thought. All right. And then, oh wow, my pressed powders. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right, I see a bunch of limited edition products in here that I have to get real with myself about, like all of these Clay de Peau powders, which are so lovely. They're so, so lovely. But I, I just need to, I just need to move on. I need to move on. The Chantecaille face powder, this is also incredibly lovely. Ugh, okay. Wow. This, this was okay. I, I didn't mind this, but I never use it, so I'm gonna pass that along. Um, it's new Vapor. This is actually a nice powder, but I never use it. I actually prefer their bronzer, so I'm gonna pass that along. The Hermes powder. I think I've already done a fails video on this. Not that it's horrible, but it's just nothing. It's okay, it's nothing special, so I'm going to get rid of that. Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder, I really love. This is a, my second one, so I'm gonna hold on to this. That's not terribly old. This By Terry Brightening CC Powder in Apricot Glow. It's beautiful, but I never use it. I get rid of that. Speaking of By Terry, this is their Hyaluronic Powder Pressed, and I have the palette now with the four in there, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This is excruciatingly old. This Apricot Glow, it's a gorgeous powder, super soft. It's like a really gentle highlight, but it's old. Okay, this is the very famous Perfect Blur Finishing Powder from Chantecaille, so I'm gonna keep that. I love these brightening moisture powders from Kogendo, so I'm gonna hold on to these. This is, yeah, like the pink version, so I'm gonna hold on to both of those. Oh, the Mario. I forgot about this and I love this. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that. And then I have these Armani Neo Nude. Is that what these were? No, Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powders. And 
I'm just gonna hold on to the lighter one. This one is, it's like too deep for my skin tone, but not deep enough for like bronzer or anything. So I'm just gonna hold on to number two and get rid of number four. Pat McGrath powders. I don't mind these, but I never use them. I'm gonna get rid of this white one for sure because I feel like I have so many of those white kind of brightening powders, like this new Charlotte Tilbury one, <laughs> which I'm gonna hold on to because that one's brand new. But I'm gonna hold on to this powder because it's such a unique shade. It's a really kind of cool toned, like cocoa shade. It's so interesting. Yeah, and this is the shade medium. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This LYS powder is phenomenal. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Oh, this is the perfect blur finishing powder in a different limited edition package. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this because this is old and use this one. Yeah, this is like their flower power version. So I'll use that one, get rid of the old one. This Dior is great. It's actually very similar to the Chantecaille. I still prefer the Chantecaille, but yeah, this one is very similar. Um, this NARS, this is actually pretty new. They sent this to me and this is a great, another one of those great like white brightening powders. Tom Ford, this is relatively new. I'm gonna hold on to this. The Valentino, relatively new. I really like their powders. I'll hold on to this. I'm a little bit on the fence about the Gucci. I'm gonna hold on to it, I think, but it's not one that I reach for often and the fragrance is a little off-putting, but I'll hold on to that for now. And then I have these Guerlain Meteorite powders. Aren't these so cool? They're like little travel ones. I got these, uh, I believe when I was in Tokyo at the airport. Yeah, so I'm gonna hold on to those. These are kind of like collector memorabilia type items. And that's it. Wow, I got rid of a lot in there as well. Doing pretty well, I have to say. And I do have other powders uh, just kind of everywhere. <laughs> so this isn't all of them. All right, in this drawer, I just have a bunch of like setting sprays and stuff. So I'm just gonna hold on to all of these setting sprays. Now we are uh, looking at a lot of my blushes, not all of them. Let me just get rid of this stuff that's just sort of sitting on top. Stuff that I just ended up here. Um, oh, here's a concealer that I'm keeping. I'm gonna put that in the concealer drawer. And then here are two pressed powder palettes that I'm gonna be keeping. This is from by Terry. That's one, that's the other. So all of these Pat McGraths, I am going to get real with myself and just see which ones I am actually going to use. Oh, here's a highlighter. All right, let me put this with my highlighters. All right, I'm gonna lay these out. All right, so right off the bat, I'm going to get rid of this one because it is too deep for my skin tone. Yeah, it's just a little bit too deep. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This is not a shade that really appeals to me. This one is Love Struck. So I'm going to get rid of that. And since these aren't that old, I think I will uh, see if friends and family want. And then I feel like we have a bunch of shades that are kind of similar. Let's see. I do really love this one. This one is the Desert Orchid. This one I definitely use quite a bit. Um, oh, I actually, I also have that blush palette. Hold on, let me see what I have in this blush palette. I can get rid of what I have in this palette. So this palette is the one I'm talking about. So I think that deeper shade, Paradise Venus, yeah, that deeper shade that I'm getting rid of is in here. So that actually works out. <laughs> And then I do have Desert Orchid in here, so I'm going to get rid of Desert Orchid. I have Nude Venus. I got this one. Nude Venus, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then I have Divine Rose 3. That is the one that is new. I would say it's pretty similar to this, which is Nymphette. It's a little bit lighter than Nymphette. It's kind of in between these two, but I think I can get rid of that. And then the rest of these, I would say, are pretty unique to my collection, like this Moby shade, this shade, which is really pale, but kind of cool tone. I love this one. This one is flirtatious. Haha. Uh -huh. um, this is really beautiful and bright. Electric Bloom. So hold on to that. Yeah, hold on to the rest of these, but I will pass these along. 
actually I'm going to get rid of this one too because I'm realizing that one shade is very similar to this and then this pink shade is uh, not something unique to my collection. So I'm going to pass this duo along. This was the Aphrodite Amour. All right, the Hermes blushes. You guys know I was not the biggest fan of these. They just are really, really boring to me. But let's go through these shades. Maybe I'll keep a few. All right, I think I'll keep these two down here. They have, like this one has the most unique sort of tone to it. It's kind of warm. It's like a really, really subtle terracotta. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This one is rose tan. And then this one I like because it's very just straight up neutral, rose ombre. This actually reminds me of like an older Chanel shade. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And then a lot of these actually remind me of the Gucci blushes and I prefer the Gucci formula to this. Yeah, maybe I'll hold on to this one. This one is fairly unique too, this Rose Fu. Yeah, and then I think I'm gonna get rid of all of these. Yeah, see if I have friends and family that want these. These are just really super boring. <laughs> super, super boring. And I'm not, you know, you guys know, I'm not like the most exciting makeup wearer, so that's really saying something. What is this? Oh, this is my Charlotte Tilbury corrector, which I love. So I'm gonna put this back with my concealers. And then I've got eyeshadows I need to move. All right, Dior blushes. These I really, really love. I probably won't be getting rid of any of these. Yeah, these are limited edition, but look at those colors. So beautiful. And those shades are really beautiful too. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to all of these. And then we have some M Cosmetics. These are gorgeous. All of these blushes actually are really gorgeous. I need to use these more. Yeah, these are stunning. I'm gonna hold on to all of these. Oh, one more. Yeah, beautiful. I'm gonna hold on to this Givenchy, which is relatively new. It's like, um, it's a highlight, but it's very pink. So I actually think of it more of as like a blush topper. Hold on to that. This Patrick Ta palette, I actually really enjoy. So hold on to that. And then this, oh, this is one of the older highlighting duos. Is this still around? Incandescent. Hold on, I'm gonna see if this is actually still available. This seems to be discontinued, so I am gonna pass this along. Okay, moving over to this side. I've got my Wayne Goss blush highlight duos. I think I'll be, keep oh, that's eyeshadow, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I think I'll be keeping most of these. I really love these. Love that so much. <laughs> um, there is one that I think is a little bit deep for my skin tone, so maybe I'll pass that one along. But so far, love these. It's gotta be the last one, right? Yeah, this one is like a little deep for me. The blush is fine, but the highlight is just it's too deep for my skin tone. So I think I'll pass this one along, uh, which is Bright Poppy. And then I'll keep the rest of these. And then this pains me, but I need to get rid of definitely First Love uh, and Ecstasy, actually. I've had these two blushes forever, forever. And if I want them, I'll just need to repurchase them, but these are so old. This Pillow Talk is newer. It's not, it's not new, but it's newer, so I'll hold on to that. But I just, I need to get rid of these. Um, all of my Jill Stewart blushes. I actually just showed these to you in my Beautylish uh, gift card event video. So I'm going to hold on to those. Uh, this Laura Mercy. Oh, this is so pretty. And this is relatively new. So I'm going to hold on to that. Oh, here's another Jill Stewart. This Burberry. I keep holding on to this. I'm just, I'm going to pass this along. I don't know why I keep holding on to that. Um... This Clay de Peau duo, relatively new, not, not new, but relatively new. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, these Melt 
duos are so gorgeous. So I'm going to hold on to these. And these Suku blushes are all relatively new. So I'm going to hold on to all of these. God, I love these so much. They're so beautiful. Aren't those fun? Oh, so unique. And this one's my favorite. And I just got a couple of other new ones from Suku that I need to, you know, organize and get in here. That's not all of them. This Valentino eye to cheek. I have this with my blushes because that's more of a blush color for me. What are these? Oh, these duos. So this is Eclat New. This is the newest one. And then I have not been able to give up Paradise Lust because it's my favorite, but it's time. I'm giving it up. And then this YSL Couture Blush in 5 is newish, so I'm going to hold on to that. It's a really pretty nude shade. This Bobbi Brown Brightening Brick in Coral. It's pretty. I don't think I've ever used this, so I'm going to hold on to that. These are all my Chanel blushes, which I went through, I mean, not too recently, but I kind of just went through those, so I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm going to hold on to all those. Oh, here's that Suku, I think. Oh, no, this is the, this is the eye quad. I don't know where that Suku blush is, that new one. Wow, this is looking really emptied out, right? This is looking really good. Let me see if there's any blushes laying around that I can just throw in here and organize while I'm at it. Oh, one of my new favorites as well, this Lancôme Blush the Teal in 217. This has been really hard for people to find. I'm so sorry, but yeah, I love this. And I felt like I found it on Lancôme and Macy's, but it seems to be sold out, so... Anyway, I really love that product. Hopefully they'll restock sometime soon. Oh, my Sisley Orchid highlighting blush. I'm gonna put these, oh, that's a little fat. And I just hauled this from Beautylish. I got this during the gift card event. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, let's just quickly go through the stuff that's up here, <laughs> which is a total mess. I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of anything up here because this is stuff that I just filmed with basically. Um, so yeah, some of the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk highlighters, I'm gonna hold on to those. Some of the new Clay de Peau lipsticks, I'm going to uh, hold on to. Uh, let's see, you know what? This by Terry Brightening CC Serum in Apricot Glow, I am going to, am I gonna get rid of this? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's liquid. I've had it for a while and I don't actually use this shade very often, so. Going to get rid of that. Uh, we have the Natasha Denona uh, My Dream Cheek Trio, which I love. I'm gonna hold on to that. These are the older Clay de Peau Luminizing Face Enhancers. So I think maybe I'll hold on to this one because this one was one of my favorites. This one I think I will declutter. This Milk Makeup Concealer I'm actually gonna put into one of my uh, fails videos, which is gonna go up well, you, actually, you probably will have seen it by now. Um, so I'm going to hold on to this, but I did not, I did not like this. This I love. My Coke and Dough I love. Let's see. This is my uh, eyeshadow I love. Another Bobbi Brown Brightening Brick. This one is in pink. I think the one that I just showed you in my blush organizer is coral. Oh, yeah, this is pretty. Okay, I'll hold on to this. I'll put this away next to the coral. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek Palettes. Where's the other one? Don't know where the other one is right now. <laughs> Don't know where the other one is right now, but I'm going to hold on to this. These were okay. I think I've mentioned that to you before. They're okay. I don't... I don't know. They were just, they were just okay. Some Chanel lipsticks. Oh yeah, these are the new nudes. This is... Oh, my Chanel Balm. Definitely keeping that. Keeping this, the West Atelier um, powder, keeping the Bobbi Brown pressed powder I'm keeping. Actually, I'll put these away into the pressed powder drawer. My Mob Beauty palettes, definitely holding on to the Huda Beauty Empowered palette I'm holding on to. The Patrick Ta um, eyeshadow palette, definitely holding on to. The new Pat McGrath mega palette for the holidays I haven't even used yet. That's kind of depressing. Danessa Myrick's Color Fix. I love these. Holding on to those. The Bobbi Brown. This is the Golden Illusion eyeshadow palette. 
This is really pretty, but I'm gonna pass this along. Oh, so by Terry Loose Powder. Let me put these in the loose powder drawer. The Danessa Myricks Lightworks palette. This is such an incredible palette. It's so cool. Holding on to that. Oh, here's my other Charlotte Tilbury face palette. Some more Danessa Myricks Color Fix products. And then I have a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, all of the stuff I just used, like the Clay de Poe. These are the new luminizing face enhancers. I'm gonna hold on to that. The new Hermes lipsticks. I'm gonna hold on to those. Um, this Natasha Denona is actually a fail for me, so I'm gonna hold on to this to make the video. What? Did I, oh, here. Here's the milk concealer. So I should kind of clump all these things together. So I'm just gonna leave all these things here. Again, I'm not organizing yet. Just sifting through and getting rid of stuff that I don't want. Um, I am gonna get rid of this Clay de Poe bamboo lipstick. Not only is it discontinued, and that breaks my heart because I do love this color, but it is old. This lipstick is incredibly old, so I'm going to get rid of this. All right, I have a whole nother section of blushes here, and I'm seeing a lot that I'm not going to be getting rid of. Um, I'm going to toss these Bare Minerals bronzers, even though they're really pretty. I just... I haven't gotten a chance to use them, so I'm just going to pass them along. This Labouche Rouge Highlight is gorgeous. I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, I have some Lunar New Year uh, Clinique highlighters. I'm gonna keep. This is limited edition. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. All of these are limited edition. Um, this year of the dog face highlight. This is actually not a good highlight either. This kind of reminded me. It may have come out the same year. Oh yeah. Yeah, Year of the Dog as um, the Armani one, but this was not great either. So I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass all these along. Oh, I really, really love these. But what's the point in having them when I'm never going to use them? And this Givenchy. I don't think this is limited edition. This is really pretty. I'm going to hold on to that. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of these. Uh, this Cure Weiss highlighter is very pretty. It's such an interesting, cool toned highlight. Do you see? It's almost like a taupe. Really pretty on the eyes too. So I'll hold on to that. This Nars I really love. This is the uh, Fort de France highlight. You can see I've gone pretty hard with it. I'll hold on to that. Natasha Super Glow, and then I need a nude glow. I'm gonna hold on to this one. This one is definitely getting on in the years. Same with these duo glows. I'm gonna pass all these along. They're just getting too old. These Tom Ford duos I'm keeping. These are all of the new blush duos that I really love. These are all the Sicily blushes that I really love. Um, oh, this Givenchy I really like too. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. The NARS blushes. I think I just, or at least it feels like I just went through these. A lot of these are fairly new. So I'm gonna hold on to these. What shade is that? Oh, Tempted. God, such a good shade. And then Taj Mahal. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to all of those. Oh, this Alima Pure. I keep holding on to this. Isn't that pretty? But I keep forgetting about it, so I'm gonna pass that along. Um, Dior keeping my Chantecai blushes. These are all the philanthropy blushes, which are part of the regular line. So I'm gonna hold on to these. Um, this is such a pretty blush. It was like a cream to powder. Limited edition though. Same with this one. This was like a more pinky shade. So pretty. This is really pretty. This Coral Sugar by Bobbi Brown, that's really pretty. This Persona, is this Bubble? Oh, look at that, such a good color. Um, this is limited edition highlight. This came out in the summertime. I'm gonna hold on to that for a little longer. These I'm going to, I'm gonna pass along. And then, gosh, look at all of these Laura Mercier <laughs> blushes. This one is Peach Shimmer. Um, where's that other one? 
I had the other one over there in the other organizer, so I'm gonna keep all these together. And then I have so many of these. I think I just have to kind of cut this back, really be truthful with myself what I'm gonna use. But I do love, love, love this formula. I love them all. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of any of these. All of these shades are beautiful. This ginger shade is gorgeous. This is gorgeous, this chai. This one's my favorite, Fresco. Yeah, this is really pretty. Passion fruit, peach, rosé. I think this is strawberry, yeah, strawberry. And this one is grapefruit. All right, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep all of these. Okay, and then moving over here. Boy, so much stuff. Um, wow, more from this pearl collection, this Pearl Lumiere. Oh, I can't get rid of this. This is just like the De Gournay. I'm gonna put this in the limited edition drawer. And then I have a bunch of these Dior highlights. And I really don't use a lot of them. I love that orangey one, the one that was really unexpected, this golden glow. I really liked this on my skin tone. It was unusual, definitely unusual. Um, oh, these are the limited edition ones. You know, these remind me of the Modern Mercury. Is that what I'm thinking of? The Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder one. I, I think originally it was just an Estee Lauder one, but her collab. All right, I'm going to pass this one along and this is like pretty much the same shade, right? <laughs> they look the same. So I'm gonna hold on to the regular one. I'm gonna pass along the limited edition one and keep this limited edition one for now because I think this is relatively new. So I'll hold on to this for a bit longer. And then I have another clay de Poe. Oh, this one. Oh, I love this one too. Okay, holding on to that one I'm keeping. Here is another clay de po. This is limited edition. I'm going to put this in my limited edition drawer because I love sheep and lambs. Yeah, and I love this. Okay, I'm going to hold on to this. My absolute favorite highlights from Burberry. So these are not going anywhere. And then let's see, I've got a couple from Hermes. So we have the baked gelée one, and then we have the pressed powder one. I remember liking one more than the other, but I can't remember which. I think I actually like the pressed powder one more, which is strange. That doesn't actually do much, let's see. Oh, just kidding. Okay, I like the uh, baked gelée one more, so I'm going to pass this along. And then I've got, let's see, this from Pat McGrath, this highlighter from Pat McGrath, which is really, really beautiful. It's really peachy, I love this one. This is the old Magic Star Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna pass this along. Um, and then we have a couple here from Pat McGrath. This is the Bridgerton one. That's like a cool tone. Yellow, I think. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. And then this one is, what's the name of this one? Usually she has some really excruciatingly long name. Highlighter, Lunar Nude. Okay. Ooh, this one I really like. It has a peachiness to it. All right, I'll hold on to both of those. And here was that highlight from the blush area. This one's really pretty. This is the Lunar Allure. And then I have this one, which is Golden Nectar. That one's pretty too. Okay, I'll hold on to that. And then over here, let's just move you over a bit. I've got this uh, loose highlight from uh, Givenchy, which is really, really pretty. I think, I think this may be discontinued at this point. This was for holiday. I really like this, so I'm gonna hold this on, hold on to it for a little bit longer. Here are the new Tom Ford duos. Here is uh, Nude Light, and here is Tan Light. Both of these shades are, they're like a little bit too warm for me. I do like the peach light, uh, but I'm gonna hold on to them because they are brand new. 
um, the Clinique oh, flower highlighter. I love this highlight. I love it. I'm going to hold on to it. It's definitely getting on its ears though, so I have to be careful. Um, the Floralsis highlight, this is fairly new. Look how gorgeous that is. Um, my House Labs highlights, these are fairly new as well. So I've got Peach Quartz and Sunstone. I'm going to hold on to those. I've got the the Bobbi Brown highlights. This is Quartz Glow, one of the newer shades. It's gorgeous. Um, Moon Glow. This one is just a little bit deeper. It's beautiful. Uh, this one is Pink Glow, which is really lovely. And then I have Peach Glow, which is gorgeous. So holding on to that. Chanel. Oh, this was really underwhelming this whole collection but I did like this particular powder it was really like kind of a pretty subtle highlight but I think I'm gonna pass that along yeah I'm gonna pass that along this one oh this one is gorgeous the Rev de Camellia this one is gorgeous holding on to that um, and then I have this Kaleidos highlight which is really pretty it is the Ray Ryder one all right so let's put these back and then back here, I have all of these lip products that I really have to get real with myself because lip products, when they get old, is just so, dis so disgusting. So, so gross. Um, okay, right off the bat, I know I need to get rid of these, maybe not that, these Tom Ford lip glosses. They're old. I even have, I think, a backup of this. So I'm gonna get rid of this. These are relatively new because I remember I had the original versions, which would be way too old at this point. And then they redid this line and I got these three shades. So these are relatively new, not not new, but relatively new. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Um, this Chantecai lip gloss is relatively new. These lip glosses from Clay de Poe. Oh man, I love these, but these are old. I gotta get rid of them. Um, same with these. These are old, I just have to get rid of them. Um, oh, this is one of the lip glorifiers. This is not that old. I'm gonna hold on to this. These Tom Ford lip glosses, I think it's time, right? I think I got a couple of newer shades. Yeah, like this honeyed coral. This one is a newer shade, so I'll hold on to that. And then I got like an in the buff. That one is relatively new, but the rest of these are old. Here is in the buff, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And then Kita, I'm gonna get rid of all of these. They're just, they're too old. The Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balms. These are relatively new. These from Chanel. I am only gonna keep one color, and it is this one, Inflexible. This is the only one that I've been wearing, so I'm going to get rid of these. And then, why is this color here? I have my Flash, Rouge Coco Flash Boy here. This one I still wear and love, so I'm gonna keep that. Ugh, all of my glosses. Wow, I can't remember when I purchased all of these, but I'm only gonna hold on to this one, 726, which I think is called Icing. Uh, you guys know how much I love these. This hurts me, but these are old. These are really old. And I think I have all the colors that have basically been like discontinued. <laughs> so, oh, this one, 714. I feel like this one is fairly new. You know what? I have so much lip gloss. I am just going to get rid of these. I'm sorry, Chanel. I will just have to buy more. Let me go through these. You guys know how much I love these um, Ultra Tenu Duos, is that what they're called? Some of these are newer than others, hold on. I think this light brown shade is newer. Tender Beige Intense Brown, I think Intense Brown is newer. And is that it? Let me see. Yeah, other than that, I know I got these probably like in 2000, like four years ago. So I think that's too old. I'm gonna toss these. Yeah, and just hold on to these two. I feel like they extended their shade range not too long ago. Here is my major lipstick drawer. Well, I'll move you when I get over there. So I'll start over here. I have so many of these Tom Ford lipsticks that I just need to let go. I've been holding on to for 
their packaging. I just need to let them go. They're old. It's stupid to hold on to them. Some of these are not that old. Let me see. This is... Oh, this one is not that old. Exuberant. This one is not that old. And then the lip balm. Opera Soleil. Reflection. All of these are old. Paradiso. Um, Bay d'Iver. Antonia. Yeah, these are just too old. This one is relatively new. Uh, the lip balm in Sunlit Rose. Relatively new. I'll hold on to that. The Lip Spark. I'll pass on or get rid of actually. Uh, Lip Spark, I'll get rid of. This is the Balm Frost. I really like these. I'll hold, oh, the bullet's all warped, but I'll hold on to that. The Lip Balm in blush. I have that silver one that I just recently got. I have to, <laughs> I have to find that, um, but that'll go in here. And then I have Fucking Fabulous and Lost Cherry. I'm gonna toss both of these, they're old. I have all the Victoria Beckham posh lipsticks. These are not terribly old, so I'm gonna hold on to those. Gucci's not that old. I do like all the shades. I do like all my Byredo shades. These are the newer Chanel shades. Oh, actually, I can get rid of these. These are the older um, Clay de Peau lipsticks. So these are no longer around. This is one of the newer limited edition ones. I'll hold on to this for a little while. Pat McGrath. These are old. These are really old and I never think to use these anymore. I don't know. I don't know why I feel like I've fallen off with Pat McGrath. I, you know, I still like her eyeshadows. I still like her makeup and her makeup line. I think it's wonderful, but I'm just not as like, what's the word? I don't know, like hungry for it as I was. So these are all really, really old. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get rid of these. These are fun though. Yeah, these are all the ones with like the micro glitter in there. So I'm going to pass those on. Makes me a little sad. Um, this one is, oh, this one I really loved. The gold astral, too old. And then I have all of these like Star Wars limited edition ones. Oh my God, I can't even get that out. Maybe I'll put this in my limited edition drawer. That's the lip balm. I actually was using this for a while, as you can see, <laughs> stained. Um, here's the C3PO. Oh, in the is this the gold again? Yeah, gold astral. So maybe I'll hold on to that. This is the red one, Matt Trance and Omi. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, Jeez, this one is nude astral star wars okay hold on to that here are the matte black ones which i loved of course uh so this was like the glittery one i'll hold on to the glittery one it's a little bit more interesting and get rid of this one and then whoops let's see we have divine rose Madame Grige, oh, Madame Grige. I think I've just been holding on to, because <sighs> I love this shade and it's really hard to find like a really perfect cool tone mauve. Yeah, I've been holding on to this for like shade reference. So I think I'll continue to do so. And we have Lust Angeles. Oh, this was another one. This was like my perfect nude. I'll hold on to this for shade reference also. And then Donatella. Oh, this was so good too. These I just all held on to for shade reference. Um, and then Divine Rose, I will get rid of. And then I've got some Laura Mercier back there. That's pretty. What shade is this? Beige Into Me. I'll hold on to that. And then, oh, I obviously love this one. This bright red orange. I have so many of these shades. Okay, I'm gonna pass that along. A Chanel Balm, Tinted Balm. I'll hold on to that. I think I need to go through my Wayne Goss lipsticks. I have a lot here, and there's definitely shades in here that I use a lot more than others. Yeah, let's just let's just do that right now. Con I really like. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude, so I'm gonna hold on to that. This is Walnut, which I also love. Um, Coco is really nice and rich and deep. I'll hold on to that. 
This one I think is a little bit light and warm for me. This is macadamia, so I'll get rid of that. This one is beautiful, chestnut. I'll hold on to that. This is another kind of light and too warm for me, cashew. So I'm gonna pass that along. Um, oh, nutmeg, I remember liking. Yeah, this is a little bit more cool toned. So I'll hold on to that. And then hazelnut. That's pretty. I'll hold on to that. Those were all of the like nude shades, so I knew I'd be holding on to most of those. And then now we have more of like the pinks and peaches. Daisy, I will pass that along. That's a little bit light. Um, this one is carnation. I just don't, it's so pretty, but I just don't wear like pinks that shade. So I'll pass that on. This is iris. That's pretty. Let me set that aside. Poppy pass that along. This is a little bit too light and warm. This is Amaryllis. Pass that along. Again, a little bit too light for me. This is Zinnia, a pink. Pass that along. This is like, it's so light that I think I may like this. <laughs> Camellia, because it's almost like a concealer lip. I'll set that aside too. Orchid. Pass that along. That one looks a little warm for me. Lily. Lily I remember really liking. This is a little bit more neutral. Hold on to that. And this is Magnolia. I'll pass that on. And this is Lotus. Lotus is pretty too. Okay, I'll keep Lotus and then I will end up just getting, well, I'll get rid of Iris, this sort of nudie um, brownish pink. I think I'll hold on to this uh, Camellia because it's so light <laughs> that yeah, it's definitely concealer lip territory. So yeah, I'll hold on to that one. It's a little bit different for me. Actually, let me revisit these Rouge Dior's down here. This one, there's something I didn't like about this one. Oh, you know what? It's the fragrance. I don't like it. I'm going to <laughs> pass that on. This is Rouge Dior 241. Oh, pretty. Pretty, but I don't wear shades like that too often, so I'm going to pass that along. This is 100, which is such a beautiful uh, nude shade in their velvet finish, which I don't have a lot of, so I will hold on to that. Okay, let's move over to this side. All right, this Givenchy Sheer Velvet. These are such a cool formula. They are sheer and they are matte, sorry, sheer and matte, but, um, and I love this shade, this shade 10 beige, but I never reach for this. I wonder if I should hold on to it just a little bit longer because these are relatively new. Yeah, a little bit longer. I'm looking at all of these Charlotte Tilburys. So there are the newer ones, the ones that came in like special packaging. I think they're within like the last couple of years. So I'll hold on to all of those. But then I have, oh, it's super nude. Some of these are new. Oh, right, right, right. She came out with those like nude shades. So super nude, catwalking. Right, these are on the newer side also. So I'll hold on to these. Cover Star. Oh, these are great. Runway Royalty. Maybe it was Runway Royalty. Anyway, I loved this like whole nude line. This Island Dream color is really pretty, but it's very warm on my lips. So I'm actually going to pass that along. And then we have Pillow Talk Intense. That's pretty, what a beautiful shade. Um, Confession, this is a shade I'm keeping for shade reference because this is like one of those perfect nudes to me, but this has been long discontinued by her, very upset. Um, and then Pillow Talk. I'm gonna pass this along. Okay, I must have just cleaned these out because I feel like <laughs> I feel like all of these are relatively new, which is a good thing. Uh, my Natasha Denona's I love, as you guys know. And then I have a bunch of these YSL shades. Yeah, this is new. This is like one of those candy ones. That one is new, it's kind of like a lip balm. I need to pull that out actually. These are kind of old. These are kind of old. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these. My Serge Lee 10, I'm gonna hold on to. I love this shade from Kosas and it's called Vegas, so I've held on to it, but it's old, I never really use it, so I'm gonna pass it on. This was actually a gift from a subscriber, this Julie Hewitt shade, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna hold on to it. 
It's very, very pretty. I'm gonna get rid of this Glossier Ultra Lip. I never use it. Um, oh, this Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint in Bare Pink Sparkle. I will hold on to this. I think I got this last summer. I'll hold on to that. Um, I'm also gonna hold on to this. Do they still have these? These were so cool. Um, what were these called? These were like a, like a jelly or a shiny or something. <laughs> Sound crazy. Um, but these were really nice. I don't know if they have these anymore, but I do like these. I love my Sisley, although some of these are getting old. Like my 11 is definitely getting old. My 33 is definitely getting old. I love this shade. Um, 41, 15, these are newer. 15 is definitely newer. I'll hold on to that. Um, 41 is definitely, is 41 newer? Or did I get these three together? Wow, my memory is really not doing anything for me. Oh, I love this shade so much. Well, they're just too old, they're just too old. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna hold on to 15, which is actually a really nice nude shade as well, nice replacement for that 11. This from De Corte, I really, really love. However, it's old. I'm going to get rid of it. These are relatively new from La Perla. God, I love these. Um, these lipsticks are great. Look at that shade. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that. All of these NARS lipsticks are old. Yeah. This I remember getting when I was in New York one time. Very pretty, but old. This balm I never use, this Laguna. This is gorgeous. This Augustine shade is gorgeous, but I'm going to pass that along. Um, and then I have some of these cure ones. Oh, look, my initials are on there. So this is just an empty case because these are refillable. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh, this is empty also. And then do I have anything in here? Oh yeah. I've got this color in here, thoughtful. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. Oh, I don't know if I can deal with my Chanel's, you guys. I love, love, love them so much. I love my Rouge Coco flashes. I do have a couple of these Rouge Coco lipsticks that I got when I first moved to Vegas, so that's about six years ago. I think maybe I need to get rid of those. That's, that's a long time for a lipstick. So this is Mademoiselle, gorgeous. This one is Maggie. Oh, I love this color. So pretty. Um, Attraction. Antoinette. Oh, I love this color. It was like, it's like a little, a little orange in there, like a little bit of warmth, some gold shimmer in there. Gorgeous color. I'm gonna get rid of those. Oh, that's relatively new. Forgot all about that. Uh, let me put these nude shades in here. All right, I took a little break, but I'm back. We were talking about the Chanel uh, Rouge Coco flashes. I love those. I'm not. I'm not ready to go through those. Um, these Rouge Coco blooms. Um, I wasn't that impressed with them, but they are relatively new. Let's take a look at these shades. That's a pretty shade. One thirty. I'll hold on to that. Um, oh, that's a flash, flash, bloom. Uh, this one, 134, I think I'll get rid of that. I also have 114, glow, mm, I'll get rid of that. And 116, dream, I'll hold on to that. All right, so, where did that one go? Oh, here, here's the bloom. And then these are all the flashes. Oh, here's another bloom. I don't know why these are so disorganized. Yeah, I'll get rid of this too. I never really got into those. Here are the Rouge Allure Velvets. These were the limited edition um, lion head ones. And these are pretty old at this point. Yeah, I think I'm going to declutter these. Oh, these shades are so pretty. Oh yeah, I remember this. Shades are so pretty. These were all velvets, right? Yeah, I don't wear the velvet finish 
that much. So I'll get rid of those. Uh, Rouge Allure, oh, the, they're the flower ones. These I really, really loved. There was one, Camellia Blanc. Yeah, this one I really enjoyed, as you can tell. Very well loved. And then here is Camellia Poupre. That one is beautiful, deep shade. On to those for a while. Flash, flash. And then Rouge Coco Flash. And then this is just the Rouge Allure. So these are like the satin lipsticks. And oh, I cannot remember how old these are. 107 or beige. Ooh, I love this. This had like gold, uh, like sparkles in there, shimmers in there. This came out for the holidays. And I have a couple more. Rouge Noble. Rouge 807. I can't actually read the words. So I'm going to keep or beige because I love that one so much. These I will get rid of because I think they're kind of old. Uh, this one is definitely old, this red one. I love this packaging though, it's so fun. So I'll keep this for the packaging for now. I don't even want to think about the Rouge Coco flashes because so many of these that I love were limited edition, but I don't want to think about it. Okay, um, I kind of skipped over the Chantecai in the front here because, <laughs> because I love them so much. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. They're also not terribly old. I think the oldest ones are these here that were from the spring. I even got like newer versions of older colors that I had. So I think those are all fresh and good. My Westman Atelier Lip Suede's I'm gonna hold on to. I also have this Rouge um, Lip Palette that is really beautiful that I need to get into um, and use a little bit more. Um, along with this rouge lipstick that is still in the box. Um, but I think I did pretty good here. All right, let's close that up. Let's try another lipstick drawer here. All right, again, I just have to get real with myself. I love these Surat glosses, but they're just too old. Yeah, they're too old. I'm gonna get rid of those. This Aether Beauty, I am just not reaching for, so I'm gonna get rid of that. These Chantecaille came out in the summertime. I do love these a lot, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I love these Vizier lip glosses, but these are these are starting to get old. These are starting to get old. I wonder if I could squeeze out maybe another season with these. I, I do really love them. Okay, one more season <laughs> of those. Let's see, the Rowan lip glosses are very nice. The Armani Lip Maestros. These are on the newer side because I had this shade, but then got a newer one. So this is like the newer one. And same with this shade, this 508. Yeah, so I got newer versions of those. So those are all good. Um, this Cure Weiss I don't use, so I guess I'll hold on to this. This is, um, you know, refillable, or this cap can be reused, basically. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And uh, this was their newer formula. I never use it, so I'm gonna get rid of that as well. And yeah, this is looking kind of old, so I'm gonna get rid of that as well. And then, oh, here are actual some refills from Cure Weiss. The KW Red and Visionary. Yeah, I just never reach for these. Ugh, I just never reach for these. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, these Bobbi Brown lip glosses, I love the way they look, but they're kind of uh, pepperminty, which I don't like on the lips. So I'm just gonna keep one. I think I'm gonna keep, let's see, one of these. I'm gonna keep this one, Bare Sparkle. And then I have these Dear Dahlia lipsticks. I just never, never got the chance to use these. And these are their, I can't, I think they're like tinted lip balms, but I cannot read that writing. Do you see how small that is? <laughs> um, I think these are tinted lip balms. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of these. The M Cosmetics. These are the lip creams, I think these are called. I'm gonna get rid of the clear one. Never gonna use that. I like this shade, this Mochi Mochi. 
and then I'm gonna get rid of these two. Okay, and then over on this side, um, I see the Jones Road. This is kind of minty, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Oops, here's another Jones Road. I love these Lancome Juicy Tubes. So I'm gonna hold on to these. The Cali Ray, I never really reach for, so I'm gonna get rid of that. The Tower 28, I really love, but these go bad so quickly. So I'm just going to toss these because these are both uh, fairly old. Um, these are the Make Serum Balms. You guys have heard me talk about these. I love these. I'm gonna hold on to these. I love my Lisa Eldridge um, glosses. And I have the Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tints, which I'm kind of on the fence about. Like I like the way they look, but I don't know if I actually like them. Like, <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> I don't know if I actually like the product, like the way it feels, the way it applies, um, the the taste and the smell of them is a little strange, but I really do like the effect on the lips. So I'm gonna hold on to these a little bit longer just, just to see, just to see if it's something I can get used to. I have the Victoria Beckham lip glosses. These are fairly new, these are not super old. Um, I have a Pat McGrath lip gloss. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this. I love this shade, but these are old. Yeah, all of these are just really, really old. I think I need to re-up on my um, Pat McGrath glosses. And yeah, here's another one. And I've got some Trini London potted lip products. I'm gonna keep those. Um, Sisley products I love. This Dior Lip Glow Oil I love. The Hermes Lip Glosses, you know how much I love those. Um, these Fenties are all really old. I love them, but I'm just gonna get rid of them. They're just too old. Uh, the Wayne Goss lip glosses. I do really love these. Let me see. There's definitely a couple shades that I wear a lot more than the others. Antique Rose, for sure, this is a keeper. And is this Chrysanthemum? This is Chrysanthemum. Basically all of the kind of sparkly metallic ones I'm gonna keep. And then these regular cream ones. Yeah, I'm going to declutter those. And then here, this Burberry is fairly new. The Say is fairly new. And then I have a bunch of NARS lip glosses here. So this one is way too old. Gotta to toss that. And then all of these are fairly new. I think I'll hold on to these two. I feel like I've gotten rid of a lot of gold <laughs> and like white shimmer glosses. This shade is Super Vixen. This is actually one of my all time favorite gloss shades. I'm gonna hold on to that and then I'm just gonna get rid of these. I'll never, I'll never get, get around to using them. And that's it for this drawer. I think I did pretty well. It's looking a little bit more empty. All right, wow. So this is kind of like my special lipstick drawer. I don't know that I'm gonna get rid of anything in here because I love all my Lisa Eldridge. And then I have all of these like beautiful cases. So I don't know if I'll get any, rid of anything um, from here. You know what? I can definitely get rid of this Valentino. Yeah, I'll get rid of this Valentino. Byredo up here. I'm gonna move this down to where the other Byredos are. I have my Dries Van Noten shades here. Um, this is a newer Pat McGrath product that I actually really like. So hold on to that. These are some Dior Holiday ones. These Charlotte Tilbury, let's see, Spice Bloom. I never ever think to use these new products from Charlotte Tilbury, so I think I will declutter these. This Dior, I will hold on to. This Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm, I will hold on to. And then these Dior lip products. These were fun. These, I think, were limited edition for holiday. And I believe, are these matte? I don't know if these are matte or not. I'll hold on to these. Oh yeah. These are gorgeous. I think these came out last holiday, so they're not they're not terribly old. The rest of these are kind of like um, 
collector items for me, and they're not too old. Like the Dries are not too old. Some of my Hermes is probably too old, but they're my Hermes, so I'm not getting rid of those. Oh, and then what's over here? I have a bunch of these House of Siage um, lipstick refills. I am going to get rid of all of these. And then I have Le Bouche Rouge uh, refill cases. They're actual cases here. Um, I have a bunch elsewhere. I have to figure out where they are. Oh, here's the House of Siage. Oops. Um, here is, oh, a balm. This I need to move elsewhere. Um, this is from Mob Beauty, my wonderful poppy lip centric. My Sisley. And then, oh my gosh, over here, whew, there's a lot of stuff. Um, I love my Armani lip powers, as you guys know. I cannot get enough of those, so I'm gonna hold on to these. Wow, what's this? Oh, from Bite. You know what, I didn't like this at all, so I'm gonna get rid of that. The M Cosmetics. This is nice, but it's, it's like really, really soft which I'm not a fan of. It kind of gets like messy when you apply it. That's how soft it is. So I'm gonna get rid of that and get rid of this. I am slowly building up my Surratt Lip Slick collection because I decluttered most of it um, because they were super old. But I have since gotten Paramore, Fiswa, and um, I have Club Sept somewhere. I think I was actually using it. I think it's probably on my vanity somewhere. Anyway, um, this Say, these like matte lipsticks, these were not good. I'm actually gonna put these in a fail <laughs> video, so I'm gonna pull those out. Um, I have my Sicily Fito Lip Twist, which you guys know I love. And then, oh, these BK Beauty. I think I just need to declutter these. I never, ever reach for these. Yeah. It's a shame, but yeah, I can find, maybe I can find a better home for them. Um, more M Cosmetics. I'm going to get rid of these. Oh, this Givenchy Rose Perfecto. This is actually fairly new. Forgot about it, so I'll put this towards the front. Um, here's another Surratt Lip Slick. This is heaven. So pretty. Okay, these Dior um, Rouge Graphiste. Uh, I'm never gonna use this purple. It's pretty, but I'm never gonna use it. Then we have Vibrant Nude. That color is great. And then we have Vibrant Coral. That color is great. Okay. So I'll hold on to those. Um, the Chantecai Le Matte Steel. I think I will, I think I'll declutter these. Yeah, I never, I never really use these. And I love Chantecai lip products so much, but you know, a matte lip is not really for me, so I'm gonna get rid of those. And this is a whole mixture of Hourglass and Bobbi Brown. So right off the bat, I am going to declutter the Hourglass because if I remember correctly, these are minty. Hold on, let me, let me apply one. Oh no, no, I taste it now. Yeah, these are minty. I love the shades, I love the formula, aside from the mintiness, but I just, I just don't like minty lip products. And I try to be fair with these products when I review them because I know I'm probably in the minority uh, regarding that. So everything else about these Hourglass uh, lip stilos are great, but yeah, I just don't like, I don't like the mintiness. Bobbi Brown. I am gonna hold on to all of these. These were the like long wearing lip stilos. These were like a soft, a soft matte. Very pretty and I really love like the um, like packaging, it makes it really easy to put on. Christian Louboutin uh, lip products that aren't going anywhere, my Jimmy Choo lipsticks that are not going anywhere, and then I have all of my uh, Bond number no. nine lipsticks that are not going anywhere. So this drawer, I actually got rid of more than I thought. This drawer I thought I was just not gonna be touching at all. All right, here is my uh, like cream and liquid well, it's supposed to be my cream and liquid highlight drawer, but I see there's a lot of blushes in here. Um, I have to be ruthless with these products because they just don't 
they don't stay well. Um, but as I'm looking at this, a lot of these products are new, like all of my Chanel La Beige blushes, those are new. Um, the La Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid, this one is new. Um, these are all new, at least new-ish. This one I think is the newest. And then I have this Le Blanc one. Well, I'm gonna hold on to these because I do enjoy them and I think they're fine. I think they're fine. Okay. Um, Chantecaille, these are new. They were sent to me from the company, so I know those are new. This one as well. I've got a Chanel. Oh yeah, these balm sticks, these are great. Just was using those. So these are all good. This I think I can let go of, my LYS Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter. These Armani Neo Nude products are, are they old? I can't remember because I know I purchased them a long time ago, but I'm wondering if I've repurchased them since then. I think I have, I think I have. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Uh, my Westman Atelier products are new. This Kogan Doe is new. Um, my By Terry Brightening CC Serums, these new shades are new. Here are more Chanel sticks. Those are all good. Um, this is new, but I'm gonna get rid of these. These Stilo Lumiere Regard. I think, I think I misuse these. I think I use them on my face as like a highlight, and I think you're supposed to use them on your um, eyes. But either way, I don't know. They just didn't really have much of an impact. Like all of these other products would be better. So, well, get rid of those. Um, I'm finally, finally gonna get rid of these Tom Fords. I love these so much, but time to go. Uh, this Bionic Glow, this was really cool. It's kind of like a gel, but I never use it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I actually see a couple of things I can get rid of because I just saw that Lila B is closing their doors, unfortunately, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna get rid of this Pat McGrath highlighting stick. It's just old at this point. Uh, this Grande Glow, I really, really love, but this is, it's not that old. Well, it's at this point, it's old. I just need to get rid of it. Um, more by Terry Brightening CC Serums. Oh, I have a lot. The Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wands. I have two of these. Why is that? Easy highlighter. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, one is regular, one is medium. Okay. So those are fine. This Hourglass Stick. Wow. This is old. This is old. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, this Bobbi Brown I really loved, but this is old. Um, these are some of the newer shades from By Terry I'm gonna hold on to. The Lisa Eldridge is fairly new, the Elevated Glow Cream Highlight. Uh, this Ritual Defee. I really like this, but when did I get this? I think a couple, a couple Vlogmases ago. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. I'm gonna hold on to it. Um, these Rose Ink highlighters, they were okay. They were kind of uh, powdery, like a cream to powder. Um, not my favorite. I really wanted to like these, but eh, I think I'll pass them on. The Guerlain Terracotta Stick, this is an excellent highlighter, but this is really old. <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, the Vapor Moonlight, this is also a really pretty cream highlight. Um, it feels a little dried out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pass that on. This Byredo Multi Stick, what shade is this in? Vienna, I think I'm gonna pass this on. It's sort of a strange, like, peachy, fleshy tone. And then I have two pens here. Oh, I like both of these. This is the Dior Flash Illuminator. Um, that one's really pretty, and then this is the Guerlain Meteorite's liquid pearls with the sponge tip. Um, this is the Victoria Beckham stick highlight, which is very nice. A little micro glittery, but I think it's really nice. Oh, Danessa Myricks. Um, Morning Dew. This is the, what, this actually, the texture of this feels weird. It used to be a lot more emollient. Okay, these are pretty old. I think these are probably one of the first products I ever got from Danessa Myricks. Oh, this one feels good still. Oh, that one's pretty. Okay, I'll hold on to this. And then this Clay de Poe. Oh, this is so pretty, but this is limited edition. I'm just going to say goodbye. Um, my Trini London products I really enjoy. Oh, this Day Corte. 
it's really pretty, but I never think to use it, so goodbye. Um, same with these air matte, is that right? Yeah, air matte blushes from NARS. I really love them, but I just don't ever think to use them. So I'm gonna say goodbye to those. My Westman Atelier sticks I'm going to hold on to. Um, my Surat sticks I'm gonna hold on to. And then I've got a couple, oh, no, this is Chanel, this is Clay de Poe. The Chanel I think I'm going to get rid of. This was that like um, iridescent like gloss. It's, you know, a neat product, but no. And then this is actually an incredible cream highlight, um, but it's actually meant to be for eyes, right? This is an eye product. Cream eye color solo, yeah. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight but I'm gonna get rid of it because this was limited edition and you can't get this anywhere. Okay, I feel like I did well, but there's still so much, still so much. Just a quick update before we move to the next drawer. Look at how much I have decluttered so far. I am really proud of myself and I'm feeling really good.